Sawa. Okay. 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 What is vocabulary, yes, <laughs> if I can ask you? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. The thing that comes into mind for me, thinking about vocabulary, yeah. it's the words that the children learn and that they use to speak and to write. Okay. Wena, what's your understanding of vocabulary? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really how many words do I know mm-hmm. as a learner, yes. right? Can I use them? Mm. In a sentence, can mm. I can I use them when I'm talking? Mm. Do I know the meaning of those words? Yes. So, as many as I know, mm-hmm. now that's my vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Very that's, nice. that's basically that. makes sense. What have you done now? You mm. have extended the size of yes. vocabulary. They have made they have looked at one word mm-hmm. and they have come up with different words that they associate with, with that word. Yes, with so that also word. that speaks to the depth mm-hmm. is that song so if vocabulary is not only expanding yes. but also they're able to use that word yes. in different ways and in meaningful ways yes. for yes. one. Yes. I love the depth. You know what mm-hmm. the depth what it refers to. It mm. refers to, okay, do I know this word? Mm. Okay, here's this. Yes. Do I know the meaning of this word? Mm. Do I know how, how to, to use, use this it. word? Mm-hmm. What parts are, are mm. making up this word? Mm. Right? Mm. And how is this word mm. connecting to other words? Yes. Do you understand? Mm. And how you, can you use it in different contexts? Yes. This very same yes. word. So, yeah, to mean different things. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. A lot of the children in my class, especially when we're writing English, they'll write, I like this, I like that, I have this, I have that. So have and like is definitely out. So when somebody says I like, I say no, 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 I like, because our class is print rich. A print rich classroom is a classroom that basically has useful information and it could be words it could be pictures so whether it, it instructs them on what to do next or it tells them what group is coming to read with me on the mat basically it's information that you use on a regular basis so no i have go find other words to write about because you have them they're here they're all around you look around you write a lovely sentence you too old i like i have great right Children come to school with different vocabularies. The children in my class, their vocabulary in Isakosa is much more than it is in English. Né? The parents at home speak Isakosa, so Isakosa is a home language. So if you come to the class for the lesson and you haven't planned, what vocabulary are you going to teach? Are you just going to read through the book and assume that that's what they know? But if you sit down, look at it, you know the level, you know how the, you know the words that you've actually introduced to them. Look at those, write them on a flashcard. And you introduce the vocab before you start reading. Because if people are seeing so many words that they don't understand, again, the meaning is lost. But if I've shown you this word, before we start and we discuss it and we talk about it, when you see it, it's not new. So I haven't lost you. And if you do and you do it properly and you keep using those words and you have those words in the classroom that they can see and you refer to those words regularly, definitely that will build their vocabulary.